Have you ever pondered how your mind processes thoughts, emotions, and experiences? Or perhaps how these processes shape your worldview? Welcome to the intersection of psychology and philosophy. In this fascinating realm, two seemingly disparate fields converge, weaving a complex tapestry that explores the human experience from varying perspectives. On one hand, we have psychology, a discipline steeped in empirical evidence and scientific rigor. It delves into the intricacies of the human mind, investigating how our thoughts, emotions and experiences shape our behavior. On the other hand, we have philosophy, a discipline that dwells in abstraction and theoretical pondering. Philosophy seeks to understand the fundamental nature of reality, knowledge and existence. It poses questions that may seem unanswerable, yet are crucial to our understanding of the world and our place in it. The bond between psychology and philosophy is intricate and profound. These disciplines, while distinct, share a common pursuit, to understand the human condition. They dissect the complexities of our existence, our cognition and our moral compass, albeit through different lenses. Psychology with its scientific approach, strives to unravel the mysteries of the mind. It uses research methods and empirical data to understand why we think, feel and behave the way we do. Meanwhile, philosophy with its theoretical approach, seeks to make sense of our experiences, our values and our purpose. It probes the depths of our consciousness, asking questions that challenge our understanding of reality. Yet despite their different approaches, these fields are not mutually exclusive. They often cross paths influencing and enriching each other in their quest to understand the human experience. Concepts such as consciousness, free will and morality are common threads that weave these disciplines together, creating a rich tapestry of thought and understanding. So, let's embark on this journey, exploring the intricate bond between psychology and philosophy. As we delve deeper into these disciplines, we'll trace their historical evolution, their shared concepts, and their ongoing influence on contemporary thought. As we delve deeper, prepare to embark on a journey through time, tracing the evolution of these two intertwined disciplines. Our journey begins in ancient Greece, the cradle of Western philosophy and the precursor to psychology. This was a time when the profound minds of Plato and Aristotle began to peel back the layers of the human psyche, laying the groundwork for what we now know as psychology. Plato, a student of Socrates, was one of the first philosophers to delve into the nature of knowledge, reality and human existence. He believed that our reality is shaped by our perceptions. This concept known as idealism suggests that our understanding of the world is inherently subjective. This idea is a cornerstone of modern psychology, which acknowledges that our perceptions and interpretations play a crucial role in how we experience our lives. Venturing further, Aristotle, a student of Plato, was perhaps the first philosopher to explicitly address psychological concepts. He proposed that the soul, or psyche, was the essence of a person, encompassing their thoughts, emotions and desires. Aristotle's exploration of these elements of the human experience sowed the seeds for the emergence of psychology as a distinct discipline. He also introduced the concept of tabula rasa, the notion that we are born as blank slates, and our knowledge and understanding are shaped by our experiences. This idea is echoed in the field of developmental psychology, which studies how our cognition and behavior evolve over our lifespan, shaped by our environment and experiences. Both Plato and Aristotle's teachings have profoundly influenced the development of psychology. They explored the complexities of the human mind, posed questions about perception, knowledge and reality, and laid the groundwork for psychologists to build upon centuries later. Their pioneering thoughts set the stage for a more systematic study of the human mind, leading us into the era of modern psychology. Fast forward to the 19th century when psychology emerged as a distinct scientific discipline. It was a time of intellectual ferment, a period that saw the birth of many disciplines that would shape the modern world. But psychology was not born in isolation. It was in many ways a philosophical offspring. Let's consider the work of Wilhelm Wundt, often regarded as the father of experimental psychology. A philosopher turned psychologist, Wundt used principles from philosophy to establish psychology as a distinct discipline. He drew heavily from philosophical concepts like introspection, the examination of one's own conscious thoughts and feelings. Wundt's introspective method, although later criticized, was the first attempt to apply scientific methods to the study of the human mind a concept deeply rooted in philosophy. Then there's William James, an American psychologist and philosopher. He is best known for his work, Principles of Psychology, 
where he explored consciousness, perception and emotion, among other things. James was also a leading thinker in the philosophical movement known as pragmatism, which asserts that the meaning of an idea or a proposition lies in its observable, practical consequences. James's work in psychology was deeply influenced by his philosophical beliefs. These early psychologists didn't just borrow from philosophy, they transformed philosophical concepts giving them a scientific basis. They used philosophy to ask questions about the mind and behavior, and then turned to scientific methods to find the answers. The interplay between psychology and philosophy was not a one-way street. The theories developed by these psychologists would, in turn, influence philosophical thought. They showed that the insights derived from psychological research could illuminate philosophical debates about the mind, the self, and human nature. With the birth of modern psychology, the philosophical roots were not severed, but rather continued to nourish the growing field. Psychology, as we know it today, owes much to philosophy, and philosophy, in turn, has been enriched by the insights of psychology. It's a symbiotic relationship that continues to evolve, shaping our understanding of the human mind and human behavior. Now in the 21st century, the bond between psychology and philosophy remains as strong as ever. Take a walk through the corridors of contemporary thought, and you'll stumble upon fascinating intersections where psychology and philosophy dance together. Cognitive science, for instance, is a compelling example of this union. It draws upon philosophy's reflections on the mind and consciousness, braiding them with psychological insights into mental processes. Here, the philosophical perspective on cognition and the psychological understanding of how we think, feel, and remember coalesce to create a richer, fuller picture of the human mind. But the waltz doesn't end there. Let's stride into another corner of this intellectual ballroom, existential psychology. This is a realm where philosophy's deep-rooted questions about our existence meet psychology's exploration of human behavior and mental processes. Existential psychologists ask questions like, how do we find meaning in life or how do we cope with the inevitability of death? Here, philosophy's quest for existential understanding and psychology's pragmatic approach to mental health join forces, helping us navigate the complexities of the human condition. These shared concepts and mutual influences are not just academic curiosities, they have practical applications that resonate with our everyday lives. For example, cognitive science can help us understand why we make certain decisions or how we can improve our memory. Similarly, existential psychology can guide us in our search for purpose or help us grapple with life's inevitable challenges. So as we stand at the crossroads of psychology and philosophy, we see a panorama of shared ideas, intertwined histories, and mutual enrichment. We see two fields that have not only grown together but have also shaped each other, each one's evolution echoing in the other's development. Clearly, the historical journey has been a shared one, with each discipline enriching the other through time. As we continue to explore this intricate relationship, we're not just tracing the threads of academic history. We're also delving into the very fabric of our human experience, understanding more about who we are, how we think, and what it means to live. Now consider this, how does the interplay of psychology and philosophy show up in your own life? As we journey through life, we're constantly engaging with the world around us. Every decision we make, every emotion we feel, every thought we ponder, is influenced by our psychological makeup and philosophical outlook. Let's take a simple example. Imagine you're deciding between two job offers. One offers a higher salary but the other aligns more closely with your values. How do you make that decision? Your psychological tendencies might push you towards the more lucrative offer, driven by the desire for security and comfort. But your philosophical beliefs might urge you to prioritize personal fulfillment over material gain, or consider the way you react to stress. Some people might view stress as a challenge to overcome, pushing them to work harder and achieve more. This perspective is influenced by philosophical ideas around resilience and personal growth. Others might see stress as a threat to their well-being, prompting them to seek balance and peace. This reaction is shaped by psychological understandings of stress and its impact on mental health. Even our interpretation of happiness is a blend of psychology and philosophy. Psychology might explain happiness in terms of brain chemistry and positive emotions, while philosophy might define it as living a meaningful, purposeful life. In essence, our lives are a continuous dialogue between psychology and philosophy. They shape our perceptions, guide our actions, and influence our relationships. 
They help us make sense of our experiences and navigate the complexities of our existence. So, as you go about your day, take a moment to reflect. Notice how your thoughts, feelings, and actions are shaped by this intricate dance between psychology and philosophy. Recognize the ways they intersect and diverge, and how they collectively contribute to your understanding of yourself and the world around you. As we bring this journey to a close, remember that every thought, every emotion, and every experience is a testament to the intricate dance between psychology and philosophy.